Happy Easter! Welcome to worship at the United Methodist Church of Red Bank for our Easter celebration. My name is Reverend Jessica Nalti, and I serve as senior pastor here in this amazing, inclusive community of faith. We're so glad you've joined us on this special day. We are a church where all are welcome to explore their faith, to ask hard questions, even if those come back with different answers. Through our journey, we strive to transform religion into love and wrestle with what loving God and loving neighbor looks like in action. We hope that you experience something holy through our service today and are reminded even in the midst of this strange time and Easter like no other we've known that the heart of Easter is about hope rising up in our midst. No matter how dark things get, hope always has one more move. We invite you to follow along in the bulletin, which you can find by clicking on the link provided for you, either in the comments of your Facebook Live feed or next to the live stream feed on our website. You will also find the Facebook Live comments, um, a link to the children's bulletin and worksheet. They came through your e-blast last night as well. If you have kids watching with you, I encourage you to print them out so they can join just as fully in this Easter celebration. While we cannot physically gather together in our sanctuary today, we are certainly gathered in spirit. And so now let us pass the peace of Christ with one another. May the peace of Christ be with you. Amen. After the events of Holy Week, the disciples were devastated. They were in the midst of full blown grief and disbelief. Into the heart of that grief came a stunning revelation. Life had overcome death. Love had won out over violence. God's faithfulness would build up the community of faith once again. God's love would bind them together. Is this possible in our lives? Today's worship will say, yes, it can. Come and see, live and love. This is the heart of the matter. Christ is risen. Let the people say, Christ is risen indeed. Amen. I invite you now to join in the centering prayer, which you can find either through the links or on our bulletin. God of new dawns, new awakenings, new life. We hear your voice this morning saying, I have loved you, my people, with an everlasting love. With unfailing love, I have drawn you to myself. On this Easter day, you tell us we will be rebuilt and made new. In gratitude, we hear you, living God, and we believe you. And so we will celebrate the gift of new life in Christ, even in the midst of fear. You give us eyes to see through tears, sing to Sing, songs to sing with throats tight with emotion. We know you help the weary rise out of the ashes. Give us the courage to be your light and hope in this world today. Amen. Now let us sing our opening hymn, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. It is a gift from our organ and our sanctuary music. Um, and the words will be provided for you right on the screen. So sing loud and sing joyfully this Easter song.
Our first scripture for today comes from Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 1 through 6. We find the people of Jeremiah's time were going through trauma. Jeremiah was frustrated with their behavior for many chapters, but ultimately his tone changes and he prophesies God's promise that they would be built back up from the devastation they had endured. They will feel joy again, and they will begin to plan for the future, planting vineyards on the hills, even in the midst of exile and pain. Here are the words of promise. At that time, declares the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they will be my people. The Lord proclaims, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. As Israel searched for a place of rest, the Lord appeared to them from a distance. I have loved you with a love that lasts forever. And so with unfailing love, I have drawn you to myself. Again, I will build you up and you will be rebuilt, O Israel. Again, you will play your tambourines and dance with joy. Again, you will plant vineyards on the hills of Samaria. Farmers will plant and then enjoy the harvests. The time will come when the watchmen shout from the highlands of Ephraim, get ready. We're going up to Zion, to the Lord our God. May God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and understanding of this word. Amen. Would the children please come forward to the computer screen? Wow. That's weird, isn't it? Happy Easter. I hope you are all safe and adjusting to this new way of life. I've got two things here I would like to show you. I've got a new penny, all shiny and new. And I've got an old penny, kind of dirty looking. Well, the new penny is kind of like how God made us. When we're first born, we are pure and perfect. So think like a new baby. And the dirty penny is kind of like what happens to us now when we're in the house all the time. We feel kind of sad. Like the penny, we're kind of covered in darkness. I was sad today that we didn't have the Easter egg hunt. Were you? I miss my friends. Do you? Well, I'd like to show you something. Let's talk about that. I have my shiny penny. I have my dirty penny. I'm gonna put my dirty penny into this beautiful glass filled with beautiful white, clear liquid we're gonna call it our God Bowl. And I'm gonna put the dirty one in there and I'll put our new one down. You know, Jesus wants us to live a life of peace and love. He came here to show us exactly how God wants us to live. Today is Easter. And Easter is about resurrection, and resurrection means new life. So as Christians, we can have new life every single day. Whether there's an Easter egg hunt or not, Easter is here. And if we pray and we wait to 10 before we get angry and get angry out loud, if we learn about Jesus, and if everything we do all day is about love, then we can be perfect again. We can start over. We can start new. 
Now I have two new pennies, two new pennies. So today is a new day. Today's Easter. Do we want to start again? Let's start new. Our prayer today is from the book of Joshua. Moses had died and God wanted Joshua to lead the people to the promised land that he had promised the Jewish people. But Joshua was scared. He was so scared. He was full of fear and he didn't know what to do. So he prayed to God and God talked to him and God said to him, what we are going to pray today. And I wonder if God isn't saying it to us today too. So God says to Joshua, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be sad. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. Happy Easter to my beautiful children of God.
Our focus scripture for this morning comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 1 through 10. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, and an angel from the Lord came down from heaven and rolled the stone away and sat on it. Now his appearance was like lightning, and his clothes as white as snow. The guards were so terrified of him that they shook with fear and became like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, to the women, don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here because he's been raised from the dead, just as he said. Come and see the place where they laid him. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he's been raised from the dead. He's going on ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. I've given this message to you. With great fear and excitement, they hurried away from the tomb and ran to tell his disciples. But Jesus met them and greeted them. They came, took hold of his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that I am going into Galilee. There you will see me. May God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and understanding of this word. Amen. Sunrises are a tricky thing. I almost always go and see the sunrise on Easter morning. Usually it's with the sunrise service of our um, local area churches on the Seabright Beach. But you never know what weather you're going to get and the weather this week has been crazy, cloudy and windy and I didn't know what today would hold. So I got up early on Friday. I've been checking the weather forecast and I got up early and I bundled up against the wind because it was a wow windy day. But I trekked out to Seabright Beach to watch the sun crest on the horizon. It was a cold and windy morning and while there were a few clouds out over the ocean, most of the sky was beautifully clear. I set up the tripod, pressed record, and waited. The sky turned all shades of orange and pink as I watched the waves roll in and the seagulls soar about. And then as the time approached when weather.com said the sun would rise, I started to get a bit nervous. The clouds on the horizon were right where the sun should be coming up. And I wondered if I would get to see it at all, whether this whole early morning excursion was in vain. But then, in a sliver of clear sky, between the horizon and the low-hanging cloud, I could see bright orange beaming down emerging and beginning to grow. It's amazing how the simplicity of a sunrise, the first ray of light that explodes into the sky can take your breath away every time you see it. I could watch the sunrise every morning and not get bored. Tired, yes, <laughs> but bored, no. But remember that pesky cloud I was worried about? Well, just as quickly as the sun rose, it slipped behind that cloud, completely obscuring the sight of those glorious orange rays. And I burst into tears. 
for it felt too much like Easter would feel this year. Like I could glimpse the hope of resurrection, the promise that God's light can outshine any darkness, but that it would be overshadowed, overshadowed just as quickly by the reality that we are living through right now. Hundreds and thousands of people struggling to take their next breath in ICUs all over the world. And everyone else hunkered down, sheltering in place to keep themselves and others safe and healthy. Some days it just feels like it's too much to bear. And that cloud was the reminder that I did not need of the shadow hanging over Easter this year. When I showed the video later to my daughters, Alyssa gasped at that moment. The sun disappeared behind the cloud. She cried, Mommy, the sun went back down. And I said, no, sweetheart, just watch. It's just behind the cloud. You see, I knew that cloud couldn't hold back the sun's light forever. I could see the top of the cloud. I, it would just be a little while longer before the sun would break out again. So I waited for what felt like an eternity. And when the sun came back out, wow, it was even better than I had hoped for. It was absolutely breathtaking. It was so bright, haloed almost because of the clouds around it. Like there was something holy about it. And I couldn't look away. But then I had to because it started to hurt. <laughs> it was so brilliantly bright. That sunrise captured Easter for me in so many ways. Both that morning after Jesus's crucifixion, when the women went to the tomb to prepare his body for burial, and this year's strange and socially distant season. After the events of Holy Week, the disciples were devastated. They were grieving their leader, their friend, the one who they thought would be their salvation, the one who had healed so many other people couldn't or wouldn't escape the horrific pain and humiliation of his own crucifixion. Into the heart of that pain came the stunning revelation that death didn't win after all. Life had overcome death. Love had won out, even when all seemed lost, when it seemed like the darkness could not be pushed back, kept at bay. Resurrection is God's answer. Bringing life where death seemed to reign, offering hope in the midst of heartbreak and grief. Friends, that's what we need to hold on to today. I know you're hurting. You're missing the usual flow of life and the traditional holiday gatherings with friends and family. I am too. I know many of you are grieving, brokenhearted as loved ones are fighting for the very breath of life. Alone with no one there to comfort or calm them. But hold on to the good news that comes with Easter. Life and love and hope cannot be defeated. Even in the darkest of days and the hardest of circumstances, just as this was true for Jesus' friends and followers, it is true for us today, too. 
the words that are repeated by the resurrected Christ over and over, no matter what version of the story you read are these, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. We need to hear those words spoken over us today, just as the women, the followers, the disciples needed to hear them in those dark days. So friends, do not be afraid, for God is with you. Hope is not lost, just as the cloud could not hold back the sun. Neither can these times of uncertainty and illness hold back hope. Death does not have the last word. It never did. For God is with us in this life and in life everlasting. Even though it may be hard to sing these Easter songs at home, either by yourself or with your close family members, I invite you to sing today. Sing loud, sing full of life and hope. Sing away the shadows. We are not called Easter people for nothing. No matter the circumstances we face, no matter the struggle and the chaos that surrounds us, the heart of the matter is that we are called to live our lives in the belief that death does not have the final word. Darkness is overcome by light. The night is broken by the rays of the morning sun. We cannot wait for everything to be all right to proclaim our Easter faith of resurrection hope. And so we, like so many Christians in times of uncertainty and chaos since those first disciples, we are invited to worship our everlasting God and do what we can to help people continue to hold on to hope and new life and joy. When Jesus encountered those women along the road after calming their fears, he encouraged them to go, to go and share the good news and be his witnesses. May that be our task as well. As our hearts are calmed and our spirits warmed by the joy of Easter, may we go and share the hope of resurrection with others. I invite each of us this week to do something that brings hope and joy to someone else. Make and send a card, call a friend who is struggling, share a smile with a complete stranger. <laughs> For we are resurrection witnesses as well. We are Easter people. Let us go share the heart of that, of our faith, the heart of the matter, that hope always has one more move. Life and love and hope will prevail. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. invited you to sing and now let's do that. Let's sing together, Christ is risen.
our blessed Jesus, today marks a day of resurrection during a time where we need your love the most. We know that you call for us to be together, but today our world requires us to be apart. But you know better. You know that though we must be physically separated, our hearts are as one in your love. We cannot be in the same room and homes, but we are united in supporting one another. Our loving guide, you give us so much hope and teach us community is not always face to face. As we walk through this, help us remember those in, the, in this country and beyond that are suffering with things we know of and things we don't. Let your Easter mark a change in their suffering and continue to walk with them Spirit, there is also suffering in our own community. Help us be there for one another in that suffering. Help us walk with each other as you live in us all. And thank you for all you do for us, for what you have done for us, for what you represent to us, and for what miracles you will do moving forward in us. May your love guide us all, and may we remember the words you have taught us. Our Father, who is in heaven, how would be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen In this Easter season, we are invited to allow God's hope to spring up in us and overflow into the community around. I, invert, I urge you to continue supporting God's work through our church, through prayer, by continuing to donate food, which is going to serve so many in our community through the Backpack Crew, and to offer your financial gifts if you are able, I invite you even to increase your giving if you can, for there will be some who are unable to contribute as this health crisis impacts financial security of so many. You are invited to mail a check into the church or to use um, one of the two online contribution options. You can contact your bank and set up a bill pay, or you could go on our website there is a clickable link available if you are watching on Facebook. It should be in the comments. If you are watching on our website, it'll be above the, the screen image. I pray that we are blessed as we offer our gifts, knowing and trusting that God is working in and through us. Amen. <laughs>
Would you join me in a spirit of prayer? Your spirit of resurrection has taught us that even when all hope seems lost, new life and possibility springs forth. There is no way to fully express our thanks to you, O oh Lord. And so with humility, we offer you our hearts and our gifts. May both be used to help the world catch their breath and find their hope in you. In the powerful name of the living Christ, we pray. Amen. And now let us sing our closing song for today, the day of resurrection.
I hope you had as much fun singing that one as I did. It's a little high for us altos, but it's fun all the same. Friends, you might not realize that Easter is not just a day. Easter is a season of eight Sundays that last from today until Pentecost Sunday in May. Actually, it's beginning of June this year, I believe. And that whole season is a time when we celebrate the spirit of Christ in the church as the presence of Jesus' work ongoing in the world. During the Easter season, we will continue to hear more about Jesus' message of what is truly the heart of the matter in our lives. And we hope that you will come back and join us each week, worshiping together, connecting with one another in this time when it is so important to reach out and connect in any way we can. As we close this time together, it is my prayer that you remember that God is always with you. No matter what you face, no matter what trials or hardships come your way, no matter what clouds come to overshadow you, God is right beside you, raising you from death to life, from darkness to light. So acknowledge your fear and your worry, for they're real, but don't Hold on to them. Don't let them hold you down. For this dark cloud shall pass. And the joy, hope, and love of Easter will shine upon us all. Take heart, my friends. Hope will always have one more word. One more move. And let all God's people say, Amen. Amen.